Welcome back, boys and girls. Last video, I completed all of the Coliseum drops by gambling my leftover quivers for the pet, which I got. So I ended up preparing for my next goal, which is to head over to Perilous Moons to get the full blue moon set for the master clue requirement. Doing so will allow me to do every single clue step again. Getting to the moons area though takes too long without the Quetzal teleportation unlocked. So I will be taking a detour to unlock all the Quetzal flying spots to get around Volumor easier. Building these Quetzal spots requires new items called the Quetzal Feed. You can only get them from doing a new hunter activity called Rumors. Think of it as Slayer, but it's for Hunter. Without spoiling too much though, I did enjoy the Rumor activity so much that I decided I want to go and add another goal to work with after unlocking the Quetzal spots, which is to get the Quetzal pet version. Anyways, enjoy today's Hunter adventure. I actually have to do a quest first called A First Light. This quest actually teaches you how to do the rumors, and once you finish it, you can unlock all the masters, basically, that can assign you different tiers of rumors. Yeah, we can also just take this opportunity to do some sightseeing and explore pretty much the rest of Volumor that's available. So we're going to check out this part. Apparently, we can unlock a teleport to the Hunter's Guild with our Max Cape or Hunter's Cape. Oh, it's that skill cape you have. Nice, he already knows. Sweet, I'm gonna add this teleport here. Sweet, now we can do other teleports. Chinchampa teleports. And Hunter's Guild. Nice, there you go. Easy. Alright, cool, let's start this quest. No, not the Jaguars, bro. Oh my god, PTSD from Coliseum. Oh, nice. I didn't even realize I finished the quest. You'll need to bring back one of his claws. Okay, so I just have to keep hunting these animals until I get a specific item from them. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, red lizards it is. Let's go. Rumors are signed to you in the basement of the Hunter's Guild. There are quite a few NPCs here that can give you rumors. However, some of them have a high tier requirement versus others. So the lowest level guy that can give you a rumor is level 46. And the highest tier that you can do is the master tier at 91 hunter from the gill hunter wolf so generally speaking you simply just want to do the highest tier that you can at this point in time in the video though there was a you could say unintended design flaw with the original release of the rumors that actually made the expert tier which is the level 72 hunter uh tier the best way to get drops and xp and of course the pet so Throughout this video, you'll see that I'm going to do a strategy that isn't just doing the highest tier that I can. I'm actually doing the second highest tier because I'm 99 Hunter. So, But just remember, nowadays, you just do the highest tier that you can, most likely for the best overall XP and drops. Red Salamander Claw, that's cool. So it's not based on how many you do, but just based on that one time that you get the thing, huh? Alright, we got our first sack here oh we got a lot of these uh new i guess uh, meats that i can cook and make some really cool high level food like the moonlight antelope or something right so we'll investigate that another time just keep going for them seeds i don't really need it for this oh there it is the crystal feed three only rumors so there's like five Quetzal spots that you can build a nest for the Quetzals for teleportation. And each one requires 10 Quetzal feeds to make. So that means I need nine more just to make my first Quetzal spot at Perilous Moon. And another 40 for the other teleports because I might as well unlock them all for future uses. Master ones are the best ones. Dang, I didn't get anything. Oh, wait, what? Oh, Enhance Quetzal Whistle Blueprint. Oh, I don't have the whistle yet. Okay, so I need to get the whistle first, which is 10 rumors. So I can actually make this thing called a meat pouch or something. A uh, meat pouch. There we go. And then I can make a big version of it. There we go. Nice. Large one. And that can hold 28 meats. So that's just good because when you do all these rumors, you get a bunch of meats from catching uh, all these animals and whatnot. So. All right. Ooh. Whoa, Gilded Hunter headwear. Oh, sick. I didn't know you can get the Hunter outfit from opening the bags. That's actually cool. Yay, new collection lock slot. Would I even... 
Does anyone know? Oh, Hunter Gill. There we go. Ah, I see. So there's the kits and there's the pets. There's the other pieces. Yes. Another rumor. Odd Sunlight Antelope. Okay. Oh, now you can claim a basic Quetzal with soul blueprint from Pitry. Let's go. There we go. Tenth rumor unlocks the whistle. All right, craft. There we go. We got the basic Quetzal, which also tells us what rumor. Nice. And we're going to create the upgraded version. Oh, okay. There's a right charge option. There you go. Ah, nice. I can use any meat on, on the whistle. Holy shit. Whoa, that teleport's sick. Oh, actually, damn, it takes me all the way here. It's kind of far. Okay, I guess I'll just use mask kit. Oh, what is that? Huntsman kit? I guess you can put tools in there, huh? Oh. Oh. That's sick. We got a new item. Really? Even butterfly jars? That's sick. I'm just going to put everything in there. There we go. Oh, that looks so nice. You, you can have everything in there. We're going to now build a landing site. Our first ever one. First ever one at the Perilous Moon. Sick. Okay, so here's how I'll do it. I'm going to use the Quetzal Whistle to teleport to the closest Quetzal whenever I bank. And then I use this, and then I can go straight to the Perilous Moon spot here. Now. Hell uh, yeah, that's gonna be the way. Yes, we have Perilous Moon logistics set up. I'm gonna just unlock these last three spots though. Might as well. I'm in, I'm in a row and I'm having a good time right now. So the Law Basket from Forestry is actually so nice for a lot of these rumors where you have to use logs for the pitfalls and the rock falls. Basically, normally you would have to cut trees while doing this, but if you have the Log Basket with you, you can just bring 28 inside the basket and also like a few with you so that way you can just do this rumor practically without ever having to cut trees if you have to do any of those now that i got the basics out of the way it is time to set up my rumor block list it's exactly like it sounds allowing me to block certain rumors that are terrible like the rock fall and the pitfalls so how do you do that you do that by utilizing all five of the guild hunter npcs that can give you rumors so you can actually have all five of them assign you completely different rumors. You cannot have the same rumors assigned by two different NBCs, right? And this is how you take advantage of it, right? So let's say you're like 90 plus hunter. So basically your main guy that you actually do rumors from would be the master level guy. And all the other four, it's a good idea for you to actually talk to them and try to do rumors from them until... They give you basically a really bad rumor like let's say you have to do uh pitfalls for one of those uh new deers if you have that actually stop there just let that guy hold on to that task because now if you do your actual npc for the rumors he'll never give you that bad task again so basically you can have four other npcs hold terrible tasks for you so that way you never have to do this forever again now there is a bit more to the strategy in this video than what i just said and it involves this technique called Kabet Switching. This technique no longer works because Jags patched it, but I do have to explain it because going forward in this video, I will be utilizing the Kabet Switching strategy a ton. The Kabet Switching is a bit complicated to understand, but effectively, what Jagex forgot to do initially was they forgot to make the different Kabet tasks have different unique items that you have to hunt for for the rumors. So every single Kabet task, whether it's Rock, Fall, Pitfall, they all share the same rare item called the Kabeti Tough. Kabet switching involves utilizing one NPC to hold the best Kabet task that you can do, which is the Falconer one for Spotted Kabets. So once you have an NPC with that task, you just want that guy to keep that forever. Oh, I got it! You're hunting for me at the moment. This rumor was about a Spotted Kabet. Yeah, yeah, Ornus. Perfect. Okay, that's exactly what I need. Then you pick a different NPC that you will now do your rumors normally with. So what happens is eventually your main guy will give you a really bad Kabet task. Like let's say a Rockfall Kabet task, right? So this is where the Kabet switching comes in. Now what happens next is instead of doing the Rockfall Kabet task, you actually go over to the NPC with the Spot Kabets and ask him to do that task instead. So it switches over. 
Then you go to falconry, spend like maybe a minute or two to do that task, and you'll get the Kabefer, right? And instead of giving the Kabefer back to the NPC or the spotted Kabet, you actually go back to your main guy that assigned you the Rockfall Kabet and switch over to do that task again. And because the Kabet is the same across all Kabets, that guy will accept the one that you got from a completely different rumor. And ta-da, that's how you Kabet skip Every two minutes, few minutes, you get a task done, guaranteed. And for further optimization, and this is like the icing on the cake, you can basically set up a block list using the different NPCs so that you can maximize your Kabet switch. So once you set it up perfectly, you will effectively only have to do something like Orange Lizards and uh, Chinchampas, and the rest is all Kabets. I'm currently trying to set up the best block list for the efficient Kabet switching for best drops per hour and xp per hour and while i'm doing that though i'm learning a lot of cool new spots that i can do for a variety of different uh, assignments for rumors such as the green lizard for example green lizard there's a spot north of darkmire you can uh, get there through darkmire with a long rope and the separate curtelli because that was the fastest way i found or just running south with ectophile if you don't have that and things like Orange Lizard, there is a spot next to the Tombs of a Musket using the Ferret Ring that you can get there. It's amazing. It's a circle spot for Orange Lizards. And Orange Lizards are going to be one of the few tasks I actually get to do even after I set up the block list. So that spot is super, super good. All right, I'm going to set this as default here, Piscatorus Teleport on my Master Scroll Book because I'm going to have to keep going here over and over again. Master Scroll Book, so nice three times in a row now so i've gotten basically three rumors done in like less than five minutes or something it's so crazy how good it is and i haven't even fully set it up this pet should be real fast for sure oh i already got it see look how fast it is okay make that four times in a row guys i keep getting kabet holy shit five times in a row yes finally man this guy is set up proper now the adepts are done because i have this guy to switch to combat tasks if it's a bad one to the good combat and now she has the great chinchampa that means these guys can't give great chinchampa anymore teko because this is the guy that we're gonna get our task from eventually so now all we gotta do is set up the novice and for the novice, I need... This is the hardest one because the novice can give like every single possible rumor. I need him to give me red salamander and then we're all set. Oh, I got a hunter's piece. Let's go Gil hunter's top. Oh, we're really, really close to 900 uh, freaking collection log though. That's actually really, really sick. But I actually did get the Wretched Champa task from the novice tier Gil hunter guy. And that's perfect because now the setup for the block list for combat switching is set meaning i can get the fastest xp per hour the best rewards per hour so i'm going to show you how many i can do an hour once i get good at this new setup keep in mind this block list was designed for combat switching in mind and that is no longer a thing so this is probably not the most efficient block list anymore by the way i've reached over a hundred rumors which is pretty cool so in terms of how i'm gonna do this uh, pet hunting here i'm gonna collect a hundred hunter lucite experts and open it every time so we're gonna do a little bit of stacking every 100 so that way i don't overdo it because i could get lucky with the pet possibly but yeah i'll see you with uh, the opening every 100 oh 100 expert loot sex it's time to open Wait, wouldn't we be on 18, actually? Oh, we got it! Yes! Gil Hunter Lakes. Let's go! We're getting so close to the 900 log slots, guys. We're almost there. One more piece. The Gil Hunter outfit pieces increases the odds of your traps working. So that means things like Chinchampas, the box traps will have a better chance of working. And it also increases the chance of getting the rare creature parts from Rumors. So again, the full set will give you the 2.5% catch rate increase. And a 5% increase in the rare creature parts for rumors. Really nice. 51. Whoa, I got money from this? Alright, we opened 50 so far and I've got 100k GP. Huh. You do make some GP out off of this. 
And bird nest, I've got 100 bird's nest. This also gives magic locks too, huh? That might be pretty good for desert treasure, people. Dang, looks like we're not going to get the full outfit yet, huh? One. Ah, we didn't, dang. Maybe the next 100, surely. Alright, here's uh, what we got from 100 expert runs here. Oh, these aren't considered uh, money or something? You can't trade these? Uh, this is for pre XP though, so... Yeah, this this is something that could be pretty decent uh, for newer accounts, though. As a mean, it means to build up the account or like Iron Man. You get some money, you get some blessed bone shards. That's a lot of prayer, I guess. And some good herbs. All right, let's test out this theory. We're going to go for the back to back rumors and I'll tell you if it works or not. I might have been not doing this properly by not setting using the rumor settings properly. But yeah, we'll see if I noticeably get less red chins. Because it should. If I'm reading this correctly, right? It naturally should be less. Dark Cabet. Holy dude. I think I just did like... Yeah, I want to say I just did like 10 Cabet tasks in a row with the back-to-back -back system on. Holy. The difference. I think it's notice very noticeable already. Oh, Red Salamander. Okay, so we got the Salamander now. So we're going to turn off the back-to-back -back settings. Yeah, we're going to disable back-to-back -back rumors. Because I just did like, I want to say 14 cabets in a row. So, Alright, we got cabets again, so we're going to turn this back on. Back-to-back -back rumors, let's go. Now that I know how to do the rumors efficiently with the now defunct cabet switching method and using the back-to-back -back settings properly, I was able to get to 250,000 Hunter XP an hour, which is freaking crazy. I've never gone anywhere near that with any other method and i was averaging around 25 or so sacks an hour so completions an hour which means that the bird which is one in 1000 sacks would only take about 40 hours to get unfortunately you won't be able to get these rates anymore since this method doesn't work anymore but i would assume you can still easily get over 100k hunter xp an hour at higher levels and you still get all the extra loot I was not expecting the combat achievements for the new content to be out so fast, which means Perilous Moon and Coliseum. So that means I don't think I should be doing a hundred rumors a day since I need to save some time to work on the other more important stuff, in my opinion. So we're going to do 50 a day. But for today, I'm just going to do 62 because that got me perfectly to 250 KC. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, we got it. Yes, full Gil Halter outfit. Uh, outfit. And one away from 900. Hopefully, Perilous Moon will finish it off. Or we get the pet. Whoa, what? You can get dupes? Okay, 22. 21. Highlander, 20. 9. Oh, oh my god! What? <laughs> we got so lucky with this pet! <laughs> we got way too lucky with it. Just on the day of the CAs as well. What the hell? We've gotten two pets in like a week, man. That's insane. Do you ever think you'd rather have one of my larger friends to be your companion? I can't carry you like they can. I'm actually glad to have you with me. You may even grow up to be giant one day. Maybe then you could carry me everywhere. Except towards volcanoes. We birds are so good in those conditions. We have 37 pets now. Oh my god. We went from 35 to 37 in less than a week. What the hell? Crazy. Number 30 freaking 7. Shout out to the boys as always for the grats. Green log, the hunter's guild. Let's go. See you guys in the next episode with the latest combat achievements to get our Zug Helm back.